All right, guys, welcome back. Today's video is about the game changer. I call it the game changer because it's this is kind of a direction that I'm going with some of these trucks in the future and what we're going to be doing and what we're going to be bringing you guys. So I want you to kind of see what we're doing and what we're talking about and why we're doing it. So let's uh, let's jump into it. Okay, so this is a 1972 International 1210 three quarter ton, four wheel drive, factory V8 automatic power steering power brake truck. Now what's cool about this truck is, this is a one owner truck, and, and when I say that I mean I'm truly, I bought it from the original owner, it's on the original title from 1972, and it's original paint and everything else. What was a bummer about this truck was, when we got it, it's all original paint, we're gonna wet sand it and polish it, but the, the motor was locked up, it, it was on a farm, and uh, it motor locked up, they stuck it in the barn, sat for a long time. I mean, 20, 30 plus years. But uh, what's super cool, I say it's one owner. Um, if you look, I don't know if the camera's gonna, uh, maybe, I'm trying not to get the shadow. So that says Ted Gilbert Motors, Chrysler, Plymouth, and IH Trucks. And that is on 6th Avenue in Lake Oswego, Oregon. And it's got the old school phone number, no area code, 636-3625. That's the original dealer sticker from where this truck was bought in the valley. And then it was brought over here and it lived in Madras, Oregon its whole life. All right, so I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about what we're doing here and then I'm gonna show you the ins and outs of everything. So. Uh, what I'm doing is we got this truck, like I said, all original everything, the motor was locked up. I've wanted to do this for a really long time and we just finally pulled the trigger and made it happen. So we took a 2004 Chevy Tahoe with a 5.3 LS and a 4L60 transmission, pulled all that out, pulled out the stock motor and tranny out of this that was locked up, was no good, and we swapped it. So we went through on the LS and we did the water pump and the cam seals and the coil packs and spark plugs and valve cover, or not valve cover, excuse me, head gaskets, intake gasket, uh, change oil, change fluids, new thermostat, you know, all the normal stuff you do on an LS. Uh, the 04 Tahoe had 125, 130,000 miles, something like that. So, you know, the LS is, if you haven't had one, then you don't know. But if you know, you know, like they're bulletproof. I ain't kidding you. I mean, just you, you put it in, you do all the maintenance, you do all the fluids and filters, you change all the, the basic stuff on them, and the suckers just run forever. I mean, they just do. So why not have a truck that looks awesome and will run forever and be powerful, overdrive transmission, power steering, power brakes, 20 miles to the gallon, 20? Two, zero, actually gets better than that, but 20 on a bad day. And the suckers, you know, it's got like 300 horsepower stock with no like fancy tunes or nothing. So what's that? Th three times the factory horsepower? Well, probably not three times, but darn near. It feels like a race truck. I ain't kidding you. So we went through the front and rear axles, we went through the brakes, we did the shocks, we did our signature wheels and tires, uh, hubcaps, powder coat everything. And we've developed with our upholstery guys um, a style of seat that I think we're gonna do. We're taking the stock bench seat, now it's it's the OG, it's original, but we're adding a little bit of, a little bit of flare? Fla is that flare? Yeah, all right. So. Let me, let me let me stop talking, let me just show you. Hey, here, let me show you. All right, so I'm not, not done, okay? Just don't jump on a guy for not being finished yet. But I, won't, I just, I gotta show you guys how cool this is gonna be. So this is the stock bench seat, but it's bolstered. See that, it's got the whoop, 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 like that, on both sides. So it feels like a bucket seat, but it's still the bench. And we got the, the, the cold snack, the, well, don't drink and drive, okay? Just don't. Just don't do it. But if you need to put your coffee or soda or cold drink, got the cup holders. And they're they're not 
see they're they're permanent they ain't come they ain't going nowhere all right that's hardware for some other stuff don't worry about that all new carpet we did do two little patches on this side and that side for the floors and then we painted those um, undercoated them seam sealed them everything like that and then we did do this had a bad spot in the rocker so kevin actually took a rocker out of another truck and we put that in the factory splice and then just painted that and everything else there'll be a sill plate here new door seal y'all you just gotta use your imagination there's a, there's a bunch more we're gonna do but i just i couldn't wait any longer i had to show you guys so here we go um there's a door panel that goes here that matches the seat the carpet is the deal the the door panel is the deal we're going to clean up the dash and stuff like that we got brand new armrests well let me show you here hold on so armrests that are all stitched i mean it's just rad they match the seats why wouldn't they they go right there they go with the door panels it's a package deal we're making it happen it's going to be cool all right so what everybody always wants to know fire it up right okay cool part is here's your check engine light okay so you're always going to know if that flashes you got check engine light and right there obd2 port all you gotta do is plug the old uh scanner tool deal bobber in there and if you got a sensor or something that's wrong with your uh 5.3 ls or your tranny she's going to tell you right there oh she's a little cold there we go All right, here we go, see? The old 5.3. You just, you just can't be angry about it. It's just awesome. Aluminum radiator, electric fan, new 180 amp alternator, new coil pack, standalone harness from Auto, Automotive Wire, or Auto Wire Direct? Automotive Wire Direct. You know who you are, you guys are great. They reached out to us, they're amazing. We're gonna be using them on all these builds. All right, so it kind of looks stockish, but you know, not, but kind of. That was the idea. Drive by wire so we can give her the old loud pedal right here. so there's she's she's got a little steamer going let's see here oh yeah I'll walk back here so you guys can hear a little bit of the now it's it's 28 degrees outside so you know she's she's steaming she's not smoking she's steaming see it's steam it's not smoke you can actually see the moisture on the ground all right, so like I said, wheels, tires, went through the axles, went through the T case, drive lines, shocks, 5.3 LS, 4L60, new exhaust all the way back, wiring, standalone harness, aluminum radiator, electric fan, our signature interior system that we're going to be, our ear interior package we're going to be doing. And we're going to do a bunch of these. This is not the only one. So this one is available. If one of you guys wants this, you just, just give us the call or the the email or the comments whatever uh, 406 garage sales at gmail.com 406 garage.com is the website you can go there you can send us email our phone numbers on there 406-581-8324 give us a call um, yeah it's gonna get the old wet sand and polish it's gonna get the interior it's gonna get the LS it's gonna get all the drivetrain so basically what we're telling you is it's a modern truck that looks like an old farm truck. To use the phrase of my friend Matt from Iron Trap Garage, it's perfectly sh It's just, it's perfectly sh Patrick, the editor, is probably going to have to edit, just bleep, bleep that out, just the bleep, bleep, whatever, you know, because we don't want to, we don't want to cuss. But that's what it is. Looks like a cool old farm truck, drives like a new truck, gets 20 miles a gallon, fuel injected, automatic power steering power brake dual fuel tanks all that stuff works factory gauges factory gauges work with the ls do you see that it's rad i love it. it's one of my favorite things 
making the factory gauges work with the LS. Okay? All right. Who doesn't love that? Anyway. Am I rambling? Too much jibber-jabber? All right, I'm going to turn it off. Hang on. Oh. Okay. There we go. All right. Let me flip this around. Hold on. All right, we'll get we'll get the the back it up look here for you guys so you can see. All right, here this 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 little elbow grease here, little the old wet sand polish wax Miyagi wax on wax off. If you if you're old enough, you know what I'm talking about. So you can see that, and you see that, you see that, you see that. You dizzy? Okay. So the whole truck will get that. We'll touch up the trim, but I'm not. I ain't painting it. It's not happening. It's not happening. Um, I do have. Wait for it. I'll, it's going to be awesome. I'll put it on Instagram. Warren eighty two seventy four Belden OG from the seventies winch on this. Now, funny story. Because because you, you guys are still watching, so we're going to tell you the story. The winch I got. I'm going to have to show you the winch. The winch I got from an old boy here, he's lived here his whole life. Now, if you guys know where we're at, Bend, Oregon, Central Oregon, um, Les Schwab Tires was founded in Primeville, Oregon, right here in Central Oregon. And Les Schwab was a guy, it, it is a guy, was a guy. He passed away. That's why I say that. He's, he's no longer with us. But he was the guy in the OG commercials, and he drove a Jeep CJ5 on his ranch. And that was, you know when he was advertising free beef with his tires and the warranties with his tires and batteries he was selling with his tire, the whole deal. That commercial that he did over and over in Primeville, he was driving a Jeep CJ5. The Warren winch that was on that Jeep is now in my possession and is going on this truck because the guy I got it from was one of Les's buddies and he's had it forever. He showed me the pictures. I have no doubt that he is telling the truth. So let me go show it to you right now. All right, here it is. This is the winch that's going on that truck. And you can see the technical number from Belden was, I don't know if you can see it or not, 5967. It's 8274 is what it ended up becoming. So, but this is the OG from the 70s. So believe it or not, this all works 100%. We're going to clean it up. We're gonna put new battery cables on it, remote and everything else. And this thing is going on that LS truck out there. It's gonna be rad. Yeah, it's going on that bumper right there because that's an original Warren style bumper. I don't think it's a Warren bumper, but it's a Warren style. It might be a Warren bumper. I don't know. Anyway, that winch is going on this bumper. If one of you guys wants this truck, give us a call. We're gonna build more of them, but this is the first one that's really available. And uh, I've driven it a bunch, and it drives uh, it drives better than all the rest of these trucks do when they're stock. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I really, really like the way it drives. Um, and we'll do a test drive video for you guys here shortly. Once I finish up the interior and stuff, we're going to do we'll do a drive. I'll take you guys for a rip. And uh, she's got limited slip rear, so she's a tooth tire fire. If you know, you know, right? Okay. I've rambled on long enough. You guys know what the deal is with this truck. You guys know we're going to build more of them. You guys know this one's available. And you guys know that one of you is going to want it. We ship anywhere in the U.S., plus we can ship worldwide. We can put it in a container and put it on a boat and send it to you if you want. There's a cost. It's not free, okay? Don't, don't hate a guy for having to pay the shippers, you know, but whatever. It's, it is what it is, so... Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing and liking and all the comments. Uh, comment down below. The, the purists are going to hate me. Okay, I just, I know. It, it is. <sighs> Whatever. I don't mind. I, I don't mind upset the internet. I don't. It happens, you know. But the deal is, I love these trucks and I like driving them. And because I like driving them, you got to put something in them that's a little more modern. It's got a little more oomph, you know, oomph, oomph, a little, little loud pedal, right? And... I hate to say it, fuel economy, you got to have a little economy. 20 miles to the gallon versus 10 or 12, it's a big deal when you're driving one of these all the time. Plus, it starts all the time. Dead cold, starts. Super hot, starts. Fuel on the line is warm and, and it's a crappy day, still starts. 
Battery's low. It'll probably start with a jump pack. Anyway. All right. Enough talking. Enough babbling. Try not to show my face. Try and show the truck more. Let's make it happen, Captain. One of you guys should own it. And uh, comment down below which one of all of the trucks that you guys know we have. Which one should we do next? Because we're going to do two or three more this winter. All right. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the next one.